Hello and welcome to Shrimps and Snails. On this episode I'll be showing you how I'm going to be installing my active substrate into my tanks which I'll be running with crystals and Tarman bees. Now the active substrate I'm using is called Kadama. Uh, you can get it in several different forms. Now this substrate is pretty cheap, uh, comes in, it's about £17 for 14 litres, which will do quite a few tanks if you're using a small amount, but then again it depends how big your tanks are. Now the main trouble with an active substrate is after a year or 18 months, depending on which one you're using, it's going to get depleted and it's no longer going to no longer going to buffer your pH to your desired levels. So what you need to do then is completely strip down the tank, take all your shrimp out and start again. Now what I've done hopefully is devised a way of changing your substrate without having to rip down the whole tanks. Now I'll just jump to that and show you what I'm talking about. Right so what I've done is I've built a few acrylic boxes and put the Akadama inside the acrylic boxes. Then I've put these at the back and put some inert substrate at the front and also on this side I'm just running an inert substrate so hopefully the box at the back there will buffer the pH for long enough that it doesn't matter that the other side has got no inert substrate in now both both of these tanks are connected so I'm not too worried about the uh, this side not having any because at the top you've got the filters going to be shooting over then this is going to have some a sponge in the hole over there. I just haven't put it in there yet because I haven't got any shrimp moved into this tank yet. The boxes are approximately four inches deep, uh, about four inches, uh, sorry, four inches depth, four inches high, and approximately 12 inches wide, which is about the width of the tank. I've also stuck some uh, mini pelium moss on the front which has got all scratched up from the side to hopefully allow the moss to slowly creep up the front which will just hide, cover the whole front in a lush green effect, hopefully. Right, I'll just do a little uh, video now on how I'm going to build these boxes up so you can see how that's done. Right, so this is what I'm trying to make, which is the acrylic box. I've used uh, two mil acrylic on the all sides. So my active substrate will be placed in this and then I can easily take it in and out of the tanks when it becomes uh, stops buffering the pH to a suitable level. Hopefully that way I won't need to restart the tanks every time and it should save me a lot of time uh, save me time and also hopefully shrimp. So this is oh sorry about the squeaks. This is the acrylic sheets. This is the base base. What I've done is measured the width of the uh, tank which is about 12 inches and just and I ordered the acrylic and made it a little bit smaller just in case there's any uh, measurement problems. It's about 4 inches high and about 6 inches wide. Uh, I don't know if you can see it sitting in the tank, you can't at the moment so I won't move the camera for that. On the front piece, I've roughed it up and drilled loads of little uh, rough dimples in it with my drill. The reason for that is so hopefully when I've attached a bit of moss to the bottom of this it will crawl up and actually stay onto the front so in the tank it's just going to look like a whole moss covered back wall. I've used again the aquarium safe seal, uh, silicon or sealant. And I'm going to show up hopefully now just to give it a go and show you how to put it together. It's always have, helpful to have some kitchen roll to hand to wipe off any excess. So basically, what you want to do first is take all the protective coverings off. Somehow satisfying to actually uh, get your nice clean bits. Uh, 
so going for the back piece first. And leave a little bead of silicon right on the edge. Concentration moment at the minute. Now, what you're going to need is something to actually hold it up. Nice. Put some silicon on the bottom. Right, so that's another one and another tank done. Uh, again, on this side we've got just an inner substrate by Denel, which is their black, uh, one of their black substrates. I haven't really done any aquascoping on any of these tanks yet, so I just want to make sure it's all running nicely before I bother starting putting too much effort in with the plants. I've just got some Fissiden, sorry, Fissiden's moss in there, some at the back, and a nice Anubius that attached to some uh, dragon stone I think it is. There's also a few baby uh, crystal blacks in there dotting around. On this side I've got some uh, bit of driftwood with some uh, Anubius again but I've forgotten what this one's called. Uh, that'll come to me in a minute. On this one again I've used uh, substrate on both of these. Active substrate, it's covered in willow moss and a big mass of moss and there is my Minipelia piece of wood uh, covered wood, it's got some snails on it it's also also got some uh, bruises, I think they're called, on there but yeah, hopefully this is going to work so when my active substrates start getting depleted, all I'm going to need to do, hopefully, is just Take this out, put some fresh in, uh, put some fresh acadoma in there, and pull it back in, and hopefully that won't uh, cause the tank to crash because it's only a small proportion of the actual whole area that I'm changing. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the section below.